Hey everyone, Louie here. I'm going to show a couple more things we can do with page notes. Let's start with making an HTTP request. So I'll put up an HTTP request node. Uh, we'll kick that off uh, with an inject and we will log that to the debug panel. So let's start uh, connecting these things. And I'm going to paste in the URL that we're going to fetch. This has to be a, an HTTPS URL. Um, and it also should be course compliant. So uh, we're going across domain. We're going from pagenotes.com out to Flickr's API. So I'll deploy that and let's give it a shot. So we get back a bunch of uh, JSON in the payload. Um, that's not all that interesting, just logging JSON. So let's create a function to manipulate that data a little bit. And uh, I'll put that up here. Let's um, pass this through that function. And in this case, I actually have uh, some code already I want to use. And let's just paste that in there. All I'm really doing is taking the, um, the payload that comes back from that HTTP request, um, grabbing some data out of it. It's a nested JSON object that we're getting back. And then I'm going to be adding a, uh, an image property onto the message object so that we can see, some, uh, see one of these pictures in the debug panel. So I'll deploy that, and now when I click this, pictures of kittens, yay. Okay, so uh, that's making simple HTTP requests. We could also post to them, uh, put headers on them, do all of that sort of thing. So let's, uh, let's move this out of the way a little bit here. And uh, the next thing I want to show is peer-to-peer -peer connections. Now this is really interesting because what we could do with this is have two machines in different locations connect directly to each other. Um, they, that does, it does require some uh, signaling to happen, which um, page notes handles. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to have a, a P2P output node, and I'm also going to, again, inject some data. Um, for the inject, uh, let's do a string. And um, about hello from Chrome, um, I'll just make the topic hello. Uh, now for the P2P node, uh, we have to add a new client connection. So we're just going to make up a channel. And uh, that channel here, we'll go ahead and deploy that. And we'll see that we're connected, but right now it's just, um, I'm the only one on this channel. So let's switch over to Firefox. And have uh, Firefox listen in for any messages. And we can just write those to the debug panel. And what we'll do with this node is, is connect to the same channel. And the topic that we're listening for is anything broadcast on the hello topic on this channel. So we'll deploy that. We'll switch back over to Chrome. When we inject that and we come back over to Firefox, sure enough, uh, so what happened here was uh, these two browsers, they connected uh, to a signaling server, which is a pretty simple thing. It's just uh, signaling um, connection information. So we could have two uh, remote machines that um, exchange signaling information through page nodes, but then they talk across um, their own networks directly to each other. And so we got peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking, and this can go both ways. We can send stuff from Firefox back to Chrome or you know to another machine. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really really simple way to just start sending messages back and forth um, across WebRTC peer connection data channels, and that's it. Thanks.